Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about AI music. We have three examples. One that's pretty basic, one that's a little bit more advanced, and then we have expert mode. Let's get into it. Okay, here we go. The first product I want to show off is called SoundDraw.io. And this tool creates beats using artificial intelligence and it is procedurally generated. You have a bunch of different options you can select, which I'll show you right now. So the first set of options is mood and this selects the mood of the track. So you can select angry, busy, dark, dreamy, anything you want. And SoundDraw will create you a bunch of different tracks using these moods. So I selected one already, euphoric, romantic, sad, sentimental, sexy, smooth. Let's hear how it sounds as beats and hip hop as the genre. The next thing you'll see is each track is split into a bunch of different segments and you can actually select the energy level of each segment. So if you wanna start out and you want the beginning of the song to be really low energy, go ahead and select that. And let's say we wanna build up medium, high, and then very high. And so as you progress through the song, you can change the energy levels, which is really, really cool. You can also turn on pro mode and not just that, select different levels for each part of the song, the melody, the backing, the bass, the drum, and the fill. There's also some other settings you can use, like you can set the beats per minute, you can set the length, the instruments being used, the key, the volume, really, really advanced when you get into the details. And then, like I mentioned, we have a bunch of different options that it produces. Now let's select a whole new one. And so I just select them, it'll generate those tracks and let's play it, Latin pop as the genre. Next, you can actually manually select the genre yourself so let's say I want a hip hop song. All of the mood tags are still here. And let's see what it generates. So now they're all hip hop. Let's see how it sounds. And remember, these are all procedurally generated. Next, let's check out the theme. You have a bunch of different themes. I'm going to select tutorial, of course, and let's also select technology. And again, all of these different settings will change the song dynamically. So here we go, let's play it again. Next, you can change the length of the song. You want a short song, maybe you want to create an intro track for your YouTube video, or you can create a four minute track, something that could be played anywhere. You can also select the tempo, slow, normal, fast, that'll affect the beats per minute. And of course you could select the instruments being used, which is just so cool. Over on the right side here, this is how you select pro mode on and off as I have shown. You can also share the song. It'll give you a little link where you can share it with anybody you want. You can create similar music. So this is like using this song as a seed. If you're using mid journey and you're familiar with how that works, this would be using it as a seed. You can also download the track, but it does require an account and it is paid. So it's $16 a month, not so bad, but still costs money. So let's say you create something you really like, go ahead and keep it and store it for later. So this video preview button up in the top right, this allows you to add a video and to hear how the song will sound underneath the video. So that's a really cool feature. And so here are the pricing options. You can generate unlimited songs and bookmark the songs absolutely free. And then if you wanna step up to the $16.99 per month plan, you basically get everything else you can have. You can download up to 50 songs per day. All the features are enabled and it's a pretty cool program. So if you have a need to generate music pretty often, this could be a, a really good option. So the next thing I wanna do is show off a product called Synthesizer V. Now this is a desktop application. I have a Mac, so I downloaded it already. But the first 
thing I'm going to do before I show you that is generate song lyrics in the style of Lana Del Rey using ChatGPT. So I've already gone ahead and done that and ChatGPT output some pretty cool lyrics that do have that Lana Del Rey feeling. I also asked it to add in the, the notes being used, although I know absolutely nothing about music, so it's not really that helpful for me, I'm realizing now. Okay, so this is Synthesizer V. It's a pretty complex product and I actually purchased it, uh, but you don't need to purchase it. You can use the basic version, although it's very stripped down, of course. So what it allows you to do is actually generate music, write out lyrics, and it will generate the vocals using artificial intelligence. And it has a bunch of plugins that you can download and purchase. I've already got one, here it is, it's called Natalie. And Natalie has a more feminine voice, of course. And I put together the track. So I took the lyrics from ChatGPT that sound like Lana Del Rey. I thought Natalie's voice sounded something like Lana Del Rey and I created a little song, uh, only the first few lines. Please keep in mind, I know nothing about music. It does sound pretty bad, but let's give it a listen. Dancing in the pale moonlight, hazy memories of our past lives. Our love was never really there. Cigarettes, Morgan whiskey lips. Okay, so you can really say that's bad. There's a few bugs in it that I've noticed. For example, it says past lives instead of past lives. I don't really know why it doesn't know how to pronounce lives, but take it as it is. I'm sure there's a way to adjust it. And so let me show you actually how to use this. This is where you can select the different notes that you're gonna be starting your track on. Each section here is part of the, uh, part of the lyrics. And so I just grabbed this little edit icon right there. I added one, double click it, and you can add any lyrics that you want and it will change the song dynamically dancing in the cool moonlight hazy memories of our you can change absolutely everything here. On the right side, you can change how soft the vocals are, how soulful, how steady, bold, warm. I thought uh, Lana Del Rey has quite a breathy voice, and so I turned up the breathiness of the voice. You can tune up or down the gender, so if I wanted to make it more masculine sounding, we'll go ahead and play that Dancing again. Dancing in the cool moonlight, hazy memories of even weirder. You can tune up the pitch shift, the key shift. Uh, there's a whole bunch of settings here. Most of them I don't understand because I don't understand music that well. But if I played around with it long enough, I think we would get some pretty cool results from. So you can change the different keys by just moving these green bars around. Each bar connects with the previous one unless you start moving it away and then it doesn't. So you do have to line it up. That was a learning that I had. And each time you do that, you can see it's regenerating the vocals. I can take the song that I just generated from sound draw drop it in here put the vocals on top of it and create a song completely from scratch using AI so if you go to the synthesizer website you can actually see that they have a bunch of vocal options and we'll go check that out right now so here's the synthesizer V website it's a product by a company called dream tonics and you can see that it has a bunch of vocals that you can purchase already here's a few examples Solaria Wena let's listen to what Solaria sounds like gone into hiding oh. okay so you get a description you also get some previews on youtube videos and let's see they have 17 different voices that you can choose from right now and i'm sure they're adding more pretty frequently and so yeah good job dream tonics this is a really cool product and you can absolutely procedurally generate your song and layer on ai generated vocals on top of it this is uh, seemingly the future of at least one genre of music so the last expert mode product I want to show you, it's maybe not even a product yet, is called Music LM. And this is actually generating music from a text prompt. So very similar to ChatGPT, but except instead of getting a text response, you're actually getting a music response. This is not something we can play around with. This is still just a white paper, just something that they've created internally at Google, actually. So this is by Google Research. And so they have a bunch of examples. So let's listen to some of these examples. 
but this really shows you what could be possible in the future. So here's the caption. The main soundtrack of an arcade game, fast paced, upbeat, catchy electric guitar riff, very repetitive, easy to remember, unexpected sounds, like cymbal crashes or drum rolls. Let's, sound, let's hear what it sounds like. And again, this was created from pure text. Just a couple sentences of text output this song that is completely original and AI generated. Let's try one more. A fusion of reggaeton, electronic dance music, spacey, otherworldly. Let's give it a try. Cool. And again, this is uh, very early, not even alpha. Can't play around with it yet. Uh, here are the authors. And this is a, you can find the paper right here. I'll link to it in the description below. And here's the data set that it actually used. So you can actually see the data that was used for uh, generating the model to be able to generate this music. Really, really cool insight. If you're super technical and nerdy like me, you can dive into all of the data set here. You can also add story mode, which is a sequence of prompts that will change the music as it progresses. So not just one prompt to create the whole song, but actually multiple prompts that will progress throughout the, the track. And you have other options like text and melody conditioning. And so what it says here is by adding melody embeddings to the conditioning, we can generate music that respects the text prompt while following the provided melody. So let's listen to a few examples. Na 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 na, na 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 na. So this is a cappella chorus, Bella Chow humming. And this again is a cappella chorus, but this time we're going to do Bella Chow jingle bells whistling. And I can absolutely see a future in which, just like ChatGPT, this is going to be publicly available and people are going to create incredible, incredible pieces of music. It looks like you can even provide an image prompt and it'll generate music based on the image. So this is a very famous painting, Persistence of Memory, Salvador Dali. Let's give it a listen. And then below, these are all different instruments. So just basic captions of a simple instrument and it'll give you an output. So I'll link this page in the description down below. This is all living on GitHub right now. And again, this is from Google research. So again, we went from really basic and something that's publicly available and anybody can use to something a little bit more advanced. Again, publicly available, anybody can use. And then the really, really advanced text to music, which is definitely going to be coming. And uh, at the rate in which artificial intelligence is progressing, it's going to be really exciting to see what's coming in the near future. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.